Hi everybody. I know that it's probably really late. It's been a while since I posted anything, but I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a Happy Valentine's Day. And for all of you that uh, had birthdays between them and now, Happy Birthday to you. I've had not too much go on, but while things were at a standstill for a little while, as far as progressing in my illness, and in the past six weeks, it has progressed some more. One, in that I am starting to lose function in my wrong hand, the one hand that has allowed me to make those doll how me it hurts. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to finish those off. The last I taught you I was in a hot bill because of a small bowel obstruction. It was in my small intestine. And they figured it was caused by the weight loss. I am continuing to lose weight. And it could be because of losing muscle. There are also changes, as you can tell, in my facial muscles, in that some of them are not functioning all that well anymore. One of the things that I noticed recently was when I had a huge laughing spell. I had to stop and wait about 15, 20 minutes as it took that long to recover because I had trained the muscles in my face so significantly that I couldn't even talk. The other thing that I have recently started having to do was to tape my mouth shut. I would put a small strip of tape from the, the base of my nose down to my chin because at one point I used to grind my teeth but now the muscles are weakening in my jaw that my jaw ends up my mouth ends up opening when I sleep. And that becomes problematic because the air that I breathe in through my mouth, it dries everything out so severely that I can't even talk. And it's kind of funny because I would have this dream when that would happen and my mouth would all dry out, it would incorporate in my dream. And I would have such a hard time talking in my dream because my mouth was filling up and kept filling up with the goop and I kept spitting it out and spitting it out. It reminded me of very thick oatmeal. And I was spitting out gobs of these balls of oatmeal. It made it so difficult to talk and I would wake up and it would feel just like that in my mouth, like I had a baseball sized cotton ball in my mouth. Really gross. Once I made the connection and started taping my mouth shut, I don't have that dream anymore, thank God, because it was horrible. As far as the emotional aspect, and what I've been going through. I suppose I've been kind of in a 
bombing, bomber move lately. I'm finding that I get tired so quickly when I go out somewhere, for example, for about an hour, an hour and a half. I'm ready to come home and sleep for the next 10 years. It just wipes me out. And that, of course, has an impact on me. I once used to be quite the social butterfly. Of course, being an entertainer for 14 years, you would have to be. But in the last few years, I find myself socializing less and less and less, almost cutting myself off almost completely. Um, the biggest reason is that the energy it takes to engage in conversation, you know, there is a certain level of expectation from people to respond to what they're saying or acknowledge in one way or another what they are talking about. And of course, in my ability to speak is becoming more and more difficult, and I tire much more easily. I find that the best way to avoid that expectation is to not talk with them at all. And I know that's not good either. I suppose one way or another I'll figure out how to work my way around that too. So, remember folks, if you have any questions or if you want to know anything at all, just give me a buzz. You guys take care of yourself. And remember my saying, all bad things have a good end. If it ain't good, it ain't the end. You guys take care of yourself. Be healthy, be safe, and above all, be smart. Poof.